Welcome back to our second experiment. Um, this time we are going to change the voltage and see the effect on the electromagnetic strength. So in the first experiment, we looked at the number of coils and how that affected the electromagnetic strength. And here we're going to look at the voltage. So when you're changing the voltage, you can almost think of that as changing the number of batteries. I mean, obviously, usually you don't have a slide on a battery making it stronger or weaker. So you could almost think like maybe one battery is two voltage and then two batteries, three voltages, etc. So that's one way to think of it when you put them in series. But um, just to think about that in, in terms of an experiment. So our independent variable here in this case is the thing that we're changing on purpose, which is, take a moment to think, I hope she said voltage. My dependent variable, our dependent variable, is what we're going to measure the results due to the change of the independent variable, and that will be the electromagnetic strength. The thing that we're keeping the same throughout this experiment is the number of coils. I'm going to go to two coils because I think one coil is barely an electromagnet. Almost all electromagnets have more than one coil, so it makes it a little bit more fun. So let me show the electrons. That's always fun to see. Let's set up the field meter and let's start with zero voltage. So zero voltage, we have, we measure zero Gauss. Let's go to two voltage. So write that down in your data table, data table two. With two voltage, two coils, we have 11.2 Gauss going on. So that's your second data point going on to four, four voltage. 22.39, so 22.39, 6 voltage, oops, 6 voltage is 33.59, 33.59, you probably see a bit of a relationship here, I hope you do, 8 voltage, and that is 44.8 or 79, 44.79, and finally 10 voltage, at this point you see that the electrons are really moving a lot faster also, that will give us 55.99, or almost 56, 6 volts. All right, so add that into your um, data table, and then we'll make the graph. 